Howdy lads, welcome back to another Gates of Hell PvP match. This time it is a 1v1 on crossing. It's late war, I'm the German faction, and I've opted for the all-round West support... No, all-round West doctrine. The uh, liberation German doctrine that you got with late war, with the uh, drilling and the King Tiger and all that fancy stuff. But, the aim of this game is to show off just how awesome snipers can be, especially in open maps. I love snipers. I think they're amazing. And I think this map can showcase their abilities perfectly. So I figured I would get out a sniper and just see just how well it could do. I wanted to try and make it last all game. So just to see just how many kills it could get, etc. So we're going to eventually bring out the sniper and see how he does. Till then, what I've done is I've sent a normal standard grenadier squad to the middle. I'm going to try and get a whole bunch of foxholes dug on my side just so I've got places to hide. I can kind of lie guys down in foxholes and, you know, keep hold of the point that way instead of having them sitting out in the open. I've also sent a crappy squad northwest. Didn't have any intention of pushing his point yet. I just wanted to get a large amount of guys out there so it stopped him from pushing any further and it made sure that he reinforced that western side which would pull forces away from the middle. I don't mind spending money on a crap squad for them to just sit there and kind of hold their ground. Make sure he knows that I've got stuff out close to him. So that's all that's doing. Obviously now I'm just trying to build as many foxholes as I possibly can. I'm going to find some spots. But I've got a couple being dug. He has actually pushed a squad up, so I wanted to keep a few guys shooting. And now I'm just waiting for this sniper, as you can see. Just seeing how long it's going to take for me to grab it. I do have a few guys out on the south, or on the east. And I will eventually push one across, just to make sure he doesn't push me on that side. But, Snippy Snippy's coming out. So it takes two minutes for you to be able to get your sniper out. So bring him up. I am recording, aren't I? Yeah, cool. Just making sure. That's what I do. I'm going to get the sniper in that foxhole, and I'm going to push old mate into the point. The one thing you do want to do in this map, in the middle, if you can see that little island, if you're on the allied side, you're actually a little bit closer. So you want to push up to that island and hide behind the lip in the middle of the thing, right as you can see, that little island. You want to push up and hide on the lip behind it. Which, um, I didn't say how I'm versing, I'm versing Birdman. Um, some of you will have seen him around before. He's in the Discord. Um, he does it very well. He uses that. Um, extremely well against me. Um, I think what they should do with this map is bring that closer into the middle because it is kind of OP having that on one side, I must say. But my MG's doing alright. Sniper's getting kills. He's got one. Um, so in a minute, he's only got one kill, which isn't that ideal, but he should start slowly clearing them out, seeing as he's. Uh, oh, there you go. So he should start clearing them out now that they're all in the open. Another one, so that sniper is absolutely smashing it now. As I said, this is the map you want a sniper. I try to get a sniper in most games, though, because I think they're quite good. But all he's doing is clearing out the point for me and keeping the cap in my favour. If he has to keep constantly reinforcing it, it works in my favour. Now, this was a brilliant move by Birdman, I thought. He's whipped out the machine gun, and let me tell you, it takes me, me way too long. I don't know why I said that twice, but it takes me way too long to deal with it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but all I can really do at this point is lie guys down in the foxholes that I've dug, specifically for this exact reason. And I figured I'd just bide my time until five minutes. I only have to deal with it for a minute. Big deal. I don't mind if he has a cut wait till then. I still do have guys lying down in there. My sniper is actually dealing with them too. I was trying to get the sniper to snipe the machine gun. But he wasn't. He would just go to run at it with a grenade, which was very annoying. I thought I'd have a go with it. Obviously, if you shoot him off, he's just going to reman it, though. So, yeah. He's a bit finicky. Another squad coming out, though. The sniper's still getting plenty of kills. He's got four now. I'm just going to let him sit there and do his thing. 
I will get that squad up, but obviously with that machine gun there, I can't really do much. He's also shooting my sniper. So I was lying him down, healing him. So he's doing very well at the moment. But I now get the drilling. So I'm going to bring that up and hopefully deal with it. Now I'm not sure what doctrine he is. I think he's actually gone for the Soviet Irregular because I used it against him. And it can pump out so much inf. I think he really liked it. So I think he brings it up. I think he uses it, sorry. Either that or all round, I can't fully remember. But that sniper is still getting kills if you look in the kill feed. It's just slowly plodding along, getting heaps of kills. But 5 minutes 30 in, 310 to 298. Bird's way. Playing very well. Now I'm just trying to get these guys in the point so that machine gun shoots at me. And then I can push it with the drilling. Come on. He does actually have an armored car pushing me as well, as you can see. So I'm trying to shoot at this. And because of the hill, it wouldn't like get in a spot that I could shoot. So this thing just slaughters my squad for nothing. You can see me struggling. I'm trying to get shots on it. I just can't. So. Very annoying. The old armored car rush. Dealt with that. I'm now capping the point as well, which is nice. So I'm trying to destroy this gun. I'm using armor piercing shells, and apparently, I can't destroy it. Yeah, don't know. Wouldn't die. So I opted to do high explosive, but I could hear a tank on his side, so I've pulled back. I had no business trying to. Sit there in the open with my um, drilling, obviously. Now he's pushing a squad. I would throw some shots. I'm trying to stop him. Let him know that I'm there. He's bought the T70, so he must be. Um, oh, he could have bought that. I think you can buy that normally. But he's holding that back, which is good for me because I can't actually really counter it. I can't pen that with the drilling. At this point, Dulky decided to play cool arms as well. But I wanted to get a half track armored squad. And the idea there was to make a bit of a push on the northwest. So I'm bringing that up, but I will eventually move that northwest and I'll use that for a bit of a combined mechanized offense. I'm just trying to get people in these little. Uh, Oh, it's a T60, he's got something on a T70, but I'm just trying to push guys in and lie them down. Just keep cat light. As you can see, I'm pulling this across. Now I've gone for the pack. I grabbed this SDK thing, and it can't actually tow the pack, so... Um, yeah, not ideal. So I'd just wheel this around then. See if I can't just see what he has. That's all I was doing with that. A bit, bit annoying, make you panic a little. Meanwhile, I'm going to walk my 5cm pack up. I think this map is good for uh, something like that. Now, what I'm doing with the sniper is I'm actually direct controlling it, and you can kind of see enemies in bushes if you just kind of move your mouse around and look through the scope. So another reason why snipers can be awesome. So far, he has 11 kills, though, so he's doing quite well. He's killed a full squad, so he's definitely made his money's worth. Now, this half track is here. I don't know if he knows it's there yet. But I'm going to get the infantry out, push them to the edge of the map, and try and come from, or flank from the side. And now I've got this SD, uh, sorry, the SDKZ engineer thing just boosting around. So I'm bringing the drilling over. I was going to try and clear that infantry up on that hill. But they weren't really doing that much, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And now I'm just waiting to get in range. Now it's a bit of a waiting game. So I think my range is about 180. 
You do have to come pretty close for it, unfortunately. I'm bringing a Grenadier squad up to reinforce once I've dealt with this. I figured as soon as this is out of the way, I can just overrun him and push on to his side of the point. That should be your aim in this uh, with this map. Get to their side of the point in the middle. 10 minutes in, 4.53 to 3.18, my way. I've taken control a little bit after an early push from Bird. And I don't know if you can hear, but he's actually pushed another tank up. I didn't know that at the time. But he actually has another tank just behind this T-60. Uh, and I didn't realise. Um, but I just, did just hear it then. But I'm close. There we go. 180. 3 through 1. I'm dealing with the T-60. Dealt with. Happy days. And there's his... Uh, I think it's out of range. So very rough. I figured, all right, I'll quickly, completely destroy this. And then I was going to try and walk it forward and hope that he didn't kill me. But he managed to get me, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do now. That's that's it. So there goes that plan. Very good counter on his part. So I'm just going to smoke and try to get that squad up there. Figured now was the time for me to try and move across. So that's a, a decent loss because obviously I spent a decent amount of points on that. Um, but that's okay. The half track has been brought up. I'm hoping to pull his attention away from the middle while I do this so I can get guys in the foxholes. It's more of a distraction than anything, the uh, half track. So he has managed to deal with it. I probably should have done that when I had the pack up, but obviously I didn't know it. He had that T34 when I hit the uh, T60, so. It was a brilliant counter. So he's retaking control. There's not a lot I can do, unfortunately. I am slowly trying to make a move on this point, though, just to. Um, bring his attention, but my sniper's now got 14 kills. I'm bringing it back, though. I was getting shot. So his tanks are holding me off the point, but my sniper seems to be kind of holding him back a little bit as well. Obviously, he's still holding the point, but... I'm now making a move. He's got a bunch of foxholes there, so... What you do with the foxholes, you just lob grenades in every single one of them. He was smart enough to remove his lads from there, though. Good stuff on his part. So he's actually running away. And I've started to cap. I decided to use this building to try and hide. Um, I probably shouldn't have. I was actually in a little bit of a lip of the hill. So I could have kept the guys laying down there. And they would have been a lot more spread out and such. So I think I probably messed up. To be fair. Because obviously one grenade ruins my day. I do know that his tank's over there now though. So... I'm going to bring the drilling up and try to clear this middle point up. I've decided to try to run one of these guys around. He's got the BA thing though. Very annoying. I'm on cars. But I'm still holding that point, surprisingly. Got a lot of infantry in the middle now though, so perfect time for the drilling to get here. So he's using that look on the hill beautifully. The drilling has done wonderful. Sniper's still getting kills, as you can see. So I knew he was uh, bringing the tank back, so I pulled back. Another kill for the sniper. Happy days. So, my push on the west there has been halted. Very good play by Old Mate Burban. I decided to go for the Mar 3. I had to deal with this T-34. This thing was the only thing stopping me from overrunning him. So, I thought Mar 3 should take out the T-34. In, in no well does this not take the T-34 out. So, off we go. I'm bringing up another Grenadier squad. Just get them ready to push.
And he's actually got his turret turned to the right, which is awesome for me. So I think the range is about 200. From 30 meters. And he's just seen it at this point. So he's actually got me. But I've hit him. Tank commander gone. I thought I'd killed his turret, but apparently not. Bounce, and he got me. I don't know how he reloads the same, like almost the same speed as me, but that's all good. So I pulled out the pack half that instead. That is a big loss. That really hurts. That costs a lot of money. But 15 minutes 30 in basically. 417 to 456 my way. Birdman has control of the match at the minute. I have resorted to bringing out the 7.5 pack on the half track. Hoping that I can finally penetrate this stupid tank. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Slowly coming up, but he disappeared, so I've decided to hold. Oh, there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the 221, and I want to try and pull his attention to the right. I didn't want it looking at me. He somehow burnt himself. I think that was on his other point. He killed a whole bunch of his own guys. That was happen. Oh my god, boys, run. What are you doing? I'm just struggling here, as you can tell. And now I'm going for it. So th these kind of maps are dominated by things like support weapons, snipers, stuff like that. The infantry is expendable as hell on maps, maps like this. Uh, the distraction is now doing its thing. I wanted to get this lined up on the road so that it uh, obviously moved faster. They move faster on the road, so when I've got to pull it up, it should drive straight along the road and get a clear shot. Figured I'd try and fix that too, why not? Sniper's still going along. It's going very well. There we go. So he's done it. He's taken the bait. Now we move in for the kill. Managed to get him. Missed. Rough. Another miss. Got him. So I've turreted him. So finally dealt with it. We want to make sure that it's completely dead. Bang. Good shot. So he's actually got my little truck. Like tractor there, if you can see. Thought I'd try have a go at this thing. I could not kill it. I've got high explosive. I've decrewed it, but I, I just I didn't want to leave it sitting there for too long. I figured now that his tank's out the way, I can quickly get my infantry on, start getting cap weight in my favour, then move back. But I heard a tank. As you can see, there is another tank there, so I'm pulling back. He's slowly trying to get close enough to get a shot on me. But, he's got a heavy there. That really makes things difficult for us. I believe that is the KV-85. He's gone the all-round, he has gone the all-round doctrine. So, that puts a spanner in my works. I was starting to re-establish myself a little but now that's uh, gone out the window but I am capping the middle so I'm just trying to get all the guys in these foxholes and I'll lie them down and I'll get these guys on that side lay down lay down I've got guys hiding in there very good little spots that's why you should always try to get foxholes perfect for maps like this KV-85. This thing is crap when I, whenever I use it. Absolutely crap. I hate the KV-85. I refuse to get it these days. I think it's crap. So I threw a shot at its track trying to track it. No luck. Threw a shot at it. Bit of fire shooting. We're doing it to each other. We get that. I don't understand the whole thing with fire shooting. Like, if it's a mechanic in the game, let it go. I don't care if someone far shoots me. I feel it probably happens a lot, to be fair. 
But I noticed that he's uh, making another push into the middle. Obviously, he has the advantage of that little uh, lip in that island that he can run straight to. So I'm throwing another shot at this stupid thing. 20 minutes in though, 575 to 455. Um, Birdman's way, playing very well. The squad is now here. I've gone for more elite infantry to try and get that cap weight. Sniper's still killing it. I don't actually know how much the sniper's got at this point, but it's absolutely killing it. Maybe another shot at this stupid thing. Maybe another shot. So there we go. Finally dead. Only took 20 minutes. Should have dealt with that a lot sooner. It was a good buy on his part, but right now I figured the best thing I could do. I've got time because he's only halfway on the points cap, a bit over. But I've got time, so what I was going to do is just hold up and wait for the King Tiger. Four minutes, that's all I had to do. So I finally got my next officer in. And now I'm just waiting. So we've got a Grenadier squad. I was going to try and pull some pressure back to the uh, west or northwest. I, fi I figured I couldn't make any... There's no point in me pushing infantry into the middle here because they were just getting absolutely slaughtered. So um, I am actually capping the point now. It's gone a bit back and forth at the moment. Sniper is absolutely killing it still. He's got two kills in a matter of... 10 seconds, so... To the question, are snipers a good option? Yes, they effing are. They are awesome. Love them. I want to click on him so I can see how many kills he's got. So I've decided to let the, uh... Let the half-track loose with the 75mm cannon. Hopefully he gets a few shots in. The sniper is slowly clearing out that point, exactly what I bought it for. Um... The only reason I have the cap is because of that sniper. And now he's actually popping shots at it. I think he said he could see it somehow. I don't know how. He said he could see the sniper. But I've opted for a second sniper, just because of how good the first one's been. He's got 31 kills so far. So he's taken out the best part of three squads. Um, so he's more than outdone the amount of points it took to buy him. I've moved the sniper over to get some more kills. Still is, as you can see, 32 kills now. So I'm bringing this uh, SDK up. I was going to have a go, but pulled back on it. Very risky. Obviously, one shot from that destroys me. I can't be sure that my first shot will penetrate it. So I'm a bit stuck right now. There's not a lot I can do. He's still trying to kill this sniper. Old Reinhold Jung. Reinhold Jung with his 32 kills. Absolutely killing it. So I've also got the other sniper there. Didn't do anything. Rough gig. So the new sniper's going to get some kills now. Hopefully. I'll bring this one to the left. Obviously, he's not looking. Um, otherwise, he would have seen my other sniper there. So, happy to let that go. And I'm going to try and run these guys straight across the water. Directly at his point. Still biding my time. There's... Not a lot I can do till I can get that tiger, unfortunately. Sniper's slowly clearing the point out for me, which is good. Eventually, you know, they'll take out that squad and I'll be capping again because I've got guys hidden. So both of them are actually going off at the moment, getting kills. I think he's got a sniper as well, to be fair. I'm not 100% sure. But he's actually caught me running across. You can get caught out really easily running across the uh, water in this one. So it's good to try and get over early if you can. Run, lads, run. Oh, don't stop and shoot. He does have that armoured car there covering it, though. That's not a bad spot for it. Later on in the games, they can become a bit useless, but you can use them to plug gaps in your lines or, you know, cover your point. Because if I do make an assault on that, yes, it's probably easy to deal with, but um, he can wipe out a squad very easily with that and catch me off guard. So 
it's good to have your weapons when you're not using them somewhere where you can bring them to defend. I'm just looking at what I can buy at the moment. I've gone for the LEIG. I should have bought this way earlier. Um, perfect little spot for it on this axis side. 25 minutes in, 478, 632. Third man's way. And I pulled out the Tiger 2. Bought this out to try and deal with these tanks. Once the tanks are out of the way, I should be able to make a decent push. So he's throwing nades at me at the moment. Cheeky boy. So I'll lob a few back at him, why not? Now I just need to wait for him to reveal himself. So sometimes it pays to just let your opponent make a mistake, other than trying to force the initiative. I am uh, pushing a squad up. I probably shouldn't be using that squad, but the reason I'm pushing it up like that is so that he reveals the tank and I can just walk up and kill it with, uh, with the tiger. Um, I do still have two squads sitting behind the point, which I haven't even grabbed. You can see there the red and yellow. That's actually two full squads. So I'm bringing up the drilling. Oh, was I? No. I'm bringing up the tiger. Those snipers are doing absolute wonders for me. So he's actually revealed himself. KV-81 has no chance against the tiger, I would have thought. So I'm bringing that up. Uh, bounce. I've hit the track. I know bounce. Unlucky. 7.5 is doing some good work for me though. I definitely should have bought it out. So he's actually penned me from the front with KV85. KV85 is useless for me 99% of the time, so. At this point, I definitely thought he was about to kill him with the KV-85, but I've got him. Now, he does have something else coming up behind it, so I do need to be careful. So I'm bringing my drilling up now to try and clear out his uh, infantry. I am capping the middle point. So things are starting to turn back in my favour. Snipers are both still getting plenty of kills. Drilling is brutal, and I noticed he had something else there, so he got stuck on the uh, other little tank, apparently. One of those unlucky moments. Yeah, you can see that tank in front of it. He was saying it got stuck. Otherwise, he probably would have got a shot on me. No, it missed. Luckily, because that thing is very deadly, I think it would have stuck me. It probably wouldn't pen me, but still. Um, I've managed to take that out. I want to destroy it though. Because that thing can come back to bite me in a very bad way. So he's actually pushing another tank up if you can hear. I believe. I've dealt with that. Now I'm pulling back because I don't know what the other tank is. So you can see how it's starting to swing in my favour a bit now. Massively. You start losing a few units like that in a row really can hamper you because I now have you know, three very good support pieces one for infantry two for tank oh sorry four I've got two for infantry two for tank I've got the uh, infantry gun as well um, yeah this is where keeping your doctrine units alive can kind of really help you and obviously these snipers are the only things that have been keeping me in the game well that sniper that's probably the only reason I was in the game because it was you know clearing the point up enough that I can contest it and stop him from getting points. The half track's been moved over. Wo soll das Ding hin? So we gotta just uh, try and clear this point again with the infantry gun. He's just moved a squad on, but now I've got free range to just kind of throw shells and that at it. He does have elite guards on there though, so I'm pretty sure he was saying they were healing faster than I could shoot. Very annoying. Ooh, that was a good shot. So there's one more I need to find. I can't find him. They're just on the right there. I can just see him to the right of that rock. Let's 
trying to get the cap on the side. That's all I want to do. Could not find him. He has reinforced it. So that's Soviet int spam coming to uh, coming to the rescue. We've got multiple squads out there now. I figured time to push. No, I know someone wants to move him out. But he's not capping by a lot, to be fair. A couple of well placed shots, and I'll probably start capping. So he's got another tank up on that western side, as you can see, T-34, so I'm booging out of there. I want to focus on the middle. I've got a lot of infantry there, so now his attention will be there. And I can go back to the middle and solidify that. But 30 minutes in, 5.23 to 6.55. 30 minutes, 45 seconds. But his way, um, he does hold two points, but the initiative has definitely swung back in my favour. I'm getting nades in those foxholes. Bring the drilling over to deal with this infantry. He does have another tank out there though, as you can see, which I did notice. And I managed to take it out. That was probably the last ditch effort to try and, you know, save the game. Yes, he is up in points and zones, but at this point, after losing all that equipment, the amount I have on the field, it's just always going to be hard. I'm making a push. I don't know how far I am off capping his point though. A lot. So there's a lot there. Majorly ambushed. That was a good little ambush by him. By old Birdman. So he's just hiding guys on the point, doing what I was doing to stay in it. Now that it's clear on my side, I'm just going to push this inf in there. And get the point in my favour. I've got plenty of support weapons back there. I'm just going to push them over because he's obviously gone for my side of the point. So I want to lie them on his side of the uh, objective, kind of behind that little island. And yeah, Bad man had to go. He, his dad was calling for dinner. Uh, but it was a very good game. We'll call it a draw. It went very back and forth. It was a great one though. If you do like this content, please do like, sub, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, lads.